wobble bumpy road wink facade threw the ball shades voracious eaters wilt tripped over whisper lovely weather for ducks 12 trencher hit the sack weed drag man blow pipe pig out walk up straddle oh avisha please help me the stools wobbling yeah thanks sure. wobble wobble means to move from side to side in a way that is not steady matlab ladkhadana ya fir dagmagana wait hey stop it what are you doing no i will not stop it i want you to fall down stop it no i won't for what are you wobbling it because you hit me very badly last time so what so what do you mean what if i'm wobbling this stool so what do you want another punishment but i think this time it's your chance are bhaiya sri me giraegi kya i'm going to delhi with my sweet mummy sa be careful mummy sa there's a bumpy road don't worry avisha bumpy bumpy ka matlab hota hai ubad khabad means not flat the road is very bumpy Wink. He's trying to wink at you. Hey, let me chase you. <laughs> I threw the ball over the net. Let me catch it again. Whoop! I tripped over. What did I do? I whispered something in Harika's ear. So that is called whisper. I repeat, whisper. Whisper का मतलब होता है फुसफुसाना या फिर काना फुसी करना. Looks like it's lovely weather for ducks. Let me go and enjoy it. Hey, but what is the meaning of lovely weather for ducks? Lovely weather for ducks means rainy weather. So that is called lovely weather for ducks. Now let me enjoy this lovely weather for ducks. I'm gonna twirl my hair. Now let me twirl my hair. I'm twirling my hair. What am I doing? I'm twirling my hair. Just know down here that the correct pronunciation of T W I R L is not twirled. Or I would say twirl. It's not twirl or twill. The correct pronunciation is twirl. There is no sound of R. Or I would say R is silent. So, today, for the whole day, I was at the market, and now I'm feeling wilted. So let me hit the sack. But before I hit the sack, let me tell you what does the word wilt mean? Wilt means when you feel tired and less energetic so that is called wilt wilt also means when a plant gets weak and bends towards the ground so that is called wilt matlab murjhana kya kehte hain use murjhana i repeat wilt wilt for example in summer or i would say due to this hot weather plants are getting wilted without water now let me hit the sack hit the sack means to go to sleep now let me hit the sack i especially wear these gloves for weeding weed weeding weed is a wild plant which is not wanted in a garden because it prevents other plants from growing properly this is a weed and this is a plant So let me remove this weed. So weeding means to remove these unwanted plants. Stand up. I'm standing up. Right now I'm looking at the facade of this hotel. It is an elegant facade. But what does a facade mean? Facade means the front of a building. I repeat, facade means the front of a building. For example, the facade of the Taj Mahal is stunning. Another example if we see 
The facade of the red fort is wonderful. Let me give you another meaning of facade. Facade means different from reality or I would say bahari dikhawa or I would say a false appearance. It means the image or way of behaving that hides your real feelings. For example, behind Priya's cheerful facade, she is really a lonely person. Let's take another example. Behind his facade of politeness or gentleness, there is a clever person. Do you know behind me? I respect this person. He's a ragman. But what is this ragman? A ragman is a person who collects, buys and sells old papers, rags and many more unnecessary things. In Hindi, it means kabadi wala. Uncle, thank you so much for helping us. Do you know what is this called? This is called clay stove or you can also call it earthen stove or you can also call it brick stove. In Hindi, it is called chulha. I repeat, chulha, chulha, you know, it is a U-shaped mud stove. It is a U-shaped mud stove made from mm, local clay. It is made from local clay. And let me tell you, here it is coated with cement. But in some places, it will also be coated with cow dung and clay. Do you know what is this called this is called blow pipe or metal pipe this is blow pipe or metal pipe it is used to blow air so that fire flames will turn into real fire like this is it like this oh my god let me walk up the stairs I have straddled the horse. Straddle means to have your legs on either side of something. For example, I have straddled the horse. Keshu has also straddled the horse. We like the we call it in Hindi? Patravali or Patal? But what do we call it in English? It's in English we call it Trencher. Trencher. I think I am going to pig out. Pig out? What is pig out? Kya hota hai? Out का मतलब होता है बहुत ज़्यादा मात्रा में खाना। अब आप मेरी पेट में इतना सारा खाना देख के सोच रहे होंगे कि मैं बड़ी पेटू हूँ या फिर भूखड़ हूँ। Yes, you're right। लेकिन इसको English में क्या कहेंगे? पेटू या फिर भूखड़ को हम English में कहते हैं voracious eaters, voracious. Friends, I'm a voracious eater. What about you? Write in the comment box. And don't be shy to call yourself a voracious eater because I am also a voracious eater. If you like this information, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.